rounded the corner that led to the detention room And when I walked in there were two lads who were about to fight I came in between them and said I need everyone to sit down Grab a notepad, a pen, there's something I'd like you all to write A reflection of why you're here and the impact that your behaviour has on others Lastly, I want you to swap your reflections and then read them out to one another There were only three in the room at this point in time And before I could emphasise that I wanted this work done quietly A girl walked in and said Sorry sir, I got lost, this room was so hard to find I responded, it's fine, just grab a seat I recognised her, the new girl How has she managed to get a detention on her first week? As I was explaining to her about what she needed to do The two lads were at it again so I had to move them to opposite sides of the room I looked at the clock in the class and told them if that time is right You all have an hour to go So 40 minutes to write And the remaining time to share what you wrote With disgruntled countenances the pens began to glide across the pages And for one moment I looked across the room and began to reflect on the different key stages Jack was 14 Emily 16 Trey 15 And Holly was 12 I remember being that young and not knowing what to do with myself Boundless energy full of hopes and dreams Nothing out of reach, a carefree existence Making some good but most times a lot of terrible decisions The time on my phone rang signalling the end of the time limit I could see how immersed they were so I said okay I'm going to give you another five minutes The five minutes went and I motioned to everyone to stop writing I want you to swap your sheets and let me know whose reflection you'll be reciting Jack stood up first and recited Emily's I've always had to rely on myself and never felt like I belonged anywhere It's almost like everyone is in this warm loving house and I'm outside looking in I've had to grow up fast and take responsibility for my own well-being I can't tell you what I've had to carry or sell Just to get by and help mum with the bills So when that teacher thought she could step to me I had to let her know that I'm not going to be made an example of That's why I'm here Jack sat down and you could tell the reflection touched the nerve I said thank you Jack It's always difficult going first Okay who's next? Holly stood up and said I'll be reciting trades I'm here because I got into a fight I've just had enough of people seeing me as someone to pick on I've literally had it my whole life The first time I was bullied was when I was 10 But people are classed as friends Every time I tried to talk about it no one ever understood They kept telling me to stop being a wimp I just wanted to curl up in a dark room And tightly close my eyes hoping the numbness from these painkillers that I found in dad's room Will execute the pain Holly with a tear flowing down her face sat down and passed Trey's paper back I was speechless Emily saw my response and got up and said I'll be reciting Jack's He deserved the punch in the face I'm annoyed I didn't hit him harder You can't go around thinking you're bad by stealing people's charges Mum told me to always fight back against bullies And just because you're wearing a hood rich hoodie doesn't make you a tough guy I watched my dad beat up my little brother and mum I wiped blood from my nose I felt helpless as the oldest son I made a promise to never be a victim then We have moved from three houses in the last six months And we're about to be evicted again I couldn't care less about how my behaviour made them feel Okay Trey you're up next Trey looked at me and said "Uh, Sir, do I have to read? I responded yes He stood up and said This one's Holly's My old school was awful The teachers did nothing when I was being bullied Online We had so many meetings with a head But it was always the same patronising questions that Holly How you getting on? They knew I wasn't okay They knew it wasn't okay that I had just started secondary school and barely done a full week These two girls following me home threw rocks at me Punched me Then uploaded a video on Snapchat This school was meant to be a new start for me The old me was gone and this new persona was about to create a new past for me Then I realised I became everything I hated I was so hurt so I thought hurting others was the way to feel liberated I paused Then I said I appreciate you all for sharing You've expressed more than I expected I'm grateful for all the issues that you've brought to my attention The hardest thing to do is to voice those inner conversations Emily, I know things might be complicated at home But I just need you to know that there is help And sometimes being strong is knowing that you can't do it by yourself Trey, you're stronger than you think It's easy to dance in the sun but how many can go blow to blow with the wind? The winds of life can be overwhelming Jack, I can't imagine what you've been through And from what you've written it sounds like you're still going through it 
Just know that life's a marathon and the vision you have for your future is sometimes the only assurance. Holly, I admire your strength, the honesty behind your reflection. Being hurt can cause us to act out of character and I'm glad you came to that conclusion. As I said this, my alarm went off and I woke up wondering what this all meant. And I realised that those four kids represented points in my childhood that I hadn't fully revealed yet. Huh.